Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn on location services on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. If you're on your iPhone, various apps might want to and ask to use your location, either your precise or your approximate location, that'll help them be able to give kind of the full features and benefits of the app. For instance, of course, Google Maps will ask for your location because they need to know where you are to give you directions on where you're going, a coffee shop or a bar or whatever. And if you wanna turn those on, I'll walk you through those steps. The first thing that you'll do is you'll head into settings here. Once you're in settings, you can just scroll down and right below where it says battery, you can see privacy and we'll tap on privacy here. And then at the very top, you can see location services on. However, I'll walk you through the specifics for individual apps. So you'll tap on that location services and you might at the very top see that it's turned off. It might look like this, location services and it's toggled off. You might wanna turn it on. However, this doesn't turn on location services for all of your apps. You'll you know, down here you'll be able to see every app that you have that wants to use your location and you'll be able to decide how you want to give it your location. So again, let's go into Google Maps here because I was talking about that. Let's go into Google Maps. So it says allow location access and you can choose never, ask next time or when I share, while I'm using the app or always, and then it'll ask you precise location. So for me, I pretty much never choose always because I want them to only be using my location while I'm actively using the app. So I, if I to toggle it on, I'm almost always toggling while using the app. Now, another important thing to do is this precise location. So for Google Maps, and it wants to give you street by street location and directions, you wanna use your exact location so that it knows where you are. So in this instance, I've turned on precise location. However, there might be a different one. Let's go to say speed test here. This is a fine one where you can turn precise location off. And what this does is it just shares a general region. It'll kind of share a bubble within like three or five miles radius to that app. So the iPhone won't share your exact address, your exact latitude and longitude, it'll share kind of a bubble around where you are. And for the speed test, it just needs to know generally which servers to connect to and which cities to give you a good speed test. So this is a good one where you can tur turn the precise location off. Now, if you get out of here, you can go into system services is another thing. And you can see all different kinds of um, indications on where and when the iPhone wants to use your specific location. You can see where it has the um, arrows is where it's been used more recently. And you can go through on all of these steps and decide where you do and don't want your iPhone to share your location. I choose in a couple of instances to turn it off. Um, like location-based suggestions. I don't really want my iPhone to give me any suggestions. Um, significant locations, I have it turned off. I don't really need to my iPhone to know where I've been and kind of keep track of all the places I've been. And then I turn off like iPhone analytics. So I have some of the services turned on that I like and that I use, but I have some of them turned off as well. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.